are absolutely loving van life in Ireland right now. This parking spot, or this camping spot rather, is absolutely amazing. The sound of the water from the river right next to where we're parked, leading into the ocean, it's magical. We had a nice little sunrise or sunset last night. And I could just sit here all day and listen to this. We learned from our many attempts of renting vans in different countries that not every van or RV is built the same. For example, right here, we don't have an inverter. So we brought our own inverter on this trip, a little 500 watt and Taylor is able to use the straightener because we're connected to the battery right now. And you she's know what they say about a happy life, happy life. Today we are exploring Dingle Peninsula, which National Geographic previously rated the most beautiful place in the world, so we will have to be the judge of that. It is 30 miles in and 30 miles out on pretty much the same road, so hopefully it'll take us about two hours and then we will be off to our next adventure. to Ventry Beach here in Dingle and I must say Dingle is quite beautiful very beautiful actually oh that sounds so nice it does sound nice it sounds much bigger than it was yeah it does the road driving in Dingle though it's wide open and you can see really far where as opposed to the ring of Kerry it's kind of like there's so much brush and trees on top of the road that you don't really get the views that we were hoping for of the famous Ring of Kerry, you were thinking the views are going to be incredible, but here in Dingle. Yeah, so far I'm with National Geo. Dingle, way better than Kerry. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> One thing about van life is when you're just driving around, sitting for multiple hours at a time, it can get pretty tiring. So, uh, and not tiring, but like hard on the body. So, uh, Kevin's getting a good stretch in. That's right. Hydrate or die or stretch or die? Can you touch your toes? I think that's pretty straight form here. Mm, look at that dog. <laughs> focus on the legs? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm focusing on the leg. It's just the upper leg. We now have roughly 50 minute drive wrapping around the end, the head of the Dingle Peninsula along Schleyhead Drive, Schley, I think. It's supposed to be really, really nice. I think it will be. I got this feeling, yeah, it's stirring in my bones. It's got me dreaming, chasing that golden coast. We just gotta live in the moment, blow your Monday, let's just go for it. Probably a broken record, but if you're visiting Ireland, make sure you do the Dingle Peninsula. <laughs> it's so pretty. There was a really cool, there was a really cool beach, but it was so crowded. Right tucked in the cliff side. Yeah, we didn't even get in the parking lot, but I'd imagine it blocks all the wind and it's nice and warm and the water was crystal clear, turquoise blue. I feel like I could just fall down these cliffs here Seriously. at the Duncan Pier. Dunquin. Dunquin, excuse me. <laughs> Dunquin Pier. Thought there was gonna be more to it, honestly. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. But it had over a thousand views on uh, Google Maps, so I was expecting for a little bit more. <laughs> Let down. <laughs> that was pretty. Now we gotta get out of here, though. It's pretty tight. Yeah. Good luck, driver. Yeah, good luck getting in the car. We just pulled up to another beach at the tip of the peninsula. It might be called. Spelled C L O G H E R? Yep. Cloher. <laughs> clogger, I don't know, one of the two. There's some swell in the water here, but unfortunately, 
The waves are not breaking at all. It looks like the water's too deep, I guess, which is a bummer. But boy, is the water beautiful. What do you think? It's really nice. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Beautiful. I don't. How is the water so Perfect. Caribbean? I don't know. My goodness. I feel like nobody goes in it up here. It's probably so clean compared. To, well, I mean, it, look, it doesn't look as clear. Well, there's not as many river mouths, I guess. A view. Am I right? I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Let me tell you. <laughs> Beautiful ocean. Nice sunny day. Pie with the wife. Got the van. Lounge chair. Lounge chair. Natural lounge chair. Don't have to bring it with you. Don't have to worry about getting it sandy. Oh god. Now if only I was wearing shorts. <laughs> you wanted to. I know I did. Well my wife said, put your green pants on. We just wrapped up the Dingle Peninsula and I must say I am with Nat Geo. It was beautiful and I recommend if you only have time for one the Ring of Kerry versus the Dingle Peninsula to definitely check out Dingle because it's just really really pretty and the views the entire time are just epic. But we're headed to Ennis now. Took a quick pit stop just to uh, check out the view and make ourselves a little uh, PB&J. <laughs> Something. Uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to add in there? Even the views on the back end of the peninsula are really nice. This viewpoint is Stellar. minus this telephone pole. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is really nice. KB and Jizzle. Triple decker. Double decker. Because this is just a single deck. Mm. How's that soft bread? The bread is actually immaculate. Nothing like a big old bus in the way. Just like Iceland. That giant bus just rolled up. Avoid the buses like the plague. <laughs> they just take over. It's crazy. And they take up 90% of the six foot wide road. So it makes driving a little difficult. <laughs> We have just made it to the town of Ennis. We got a recommendation from our email subscriber, Neil, on checking out a bar pub called Knox. So we're right here right now, and it's time to get some beers. If you're watching this, thank you, Neil, for the suggestion. We are super amped to check it out, and we're praying that it has live music, even though it is Monday, and yeah. you told us to come here on a Thursday. Yeah, it didn't work out really for so. uh, those dates, but. Let's go do it. Straight for the sun. I've been thinking we should get away. Get away.